Daiwa releases yet another Totola. Oh, oh wait, God. wait. Oh. Two more Totolas. Oh. Shimano finally redesigns my favorite DC, thank God. And Mega Bass re-releases a couple of classic special colors, plus the return of the most bougie bait finesse rods in the world. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. What a oh, yeah. Look at Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. All right, guys, some breaking news. What's new this week at the Hook of Shock? What a beautiful post on Look at that. <laughs> Look at that good on that. That's a nice fish. It's cool. What is up, my friends? Happy Sunday. I am Ben with the Hookup Tackle, Tackle Taku on Instagram, being joined this beautiful Sunday morning by my buddy Jeffrey the King. Jeff, cheers. Cheers to you, mate. Cheers to you. Happy Sunday. Uh, How are you doing? How's it going, dude? Cheers, my friends. By the way, if you are new here, this is basically uh, the yeah. official, unofficial sponsor of yes, it is. the Hookup Tackle channel. Mm -hmm. The most delicious beer in the world. Orion, straight from the gorgeous island of Okinawa. Would you like one, Jeff? Absolutely not. Okay. Cheers, my friends. Oh, it's good to be warm. <laughs> it's so early Happy spring. For that. So much hate last week when we talked about warm and I'm in shorts. You're in shorts. Yep. This is wonderful. How's it going, guys? Having a good Sunday? Are you having a good Sunday, Jeff, or did I ruin it with the Tatula? Oh, it's already ruined. Well, let's just start there and have some fun, Great. shall we? So, uh, if you guys have followed us around, you know that we give Daiwa a lot of grief over the Tatula lineup because it's an amazing lineup and it's perfectly positioned for a lot of guys to access it. But there are literally, I think now it's officially a thousand and five different Tatula options. So. Yeah. So we're going to add two more to it today. Okay. Why not? So let's start here. The brand new Tatula Elite spinning is available now okay so you know there is a tatula spinning right now there's a tatula elite version okay <laughs> happy right okay so why do you want the tatula elite over the regular tatula well elite in the name i mean it's like the bassmaster elite only elite series guys mm. will fish something this cool mm. so that's why I would buy it. This could definitely be it. Now, uh, it's a good looking reel. It's it's all kind of this matte black Zion material. It looks sexy. It feels great. This is a 2500, by the way. Uh, there are multiple models. There's 2500 XH, there's a CXH, there's a 3000 CXH, a 3000 XH, a 4000. So there is a reel that can basically handle anything that you'd like to do. Uh, new air drive design, tough digi gear. It's a Zion material, eight ball bearing high speed so really kind of focused at that like tournament angler that wants a good looking reel without going to the five or six or seven hundred dollars you're positioned at a 299 price point you know as a lot of what we're going to talk about today a little confusing that they didn't put mq on this reel so that's kind of been the play with Daiwa that all their spinning reels were going to that monocoque body, you know, with the big gears. So we're back to just kind of the standard LT frame, uh, but it's incredibly light. So I think what they're going for is a reel that's in weight, similar to something that you're going to get in like the new Surtape, uh, but you're not going to get all the fanciness of the six or $700 reels. There's no mag seal, there's no MQ. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how it positions for a lot of you weight might be the most important factor And this is going to be a good one just to give you an idea It's 6.3 ounces for the 2500 size 6.5 ounces for the 3000 size So if you're using a lighter weight reel or you're you know, you're doing this strolling thing all day uh, Weight does make a difference. So there you go, Jeff 
a brand new, yet another Tatula in the lineup. There you go, the Tatula Elite Spinning is available now. Did I lose you yet? Uh, no, I'm glad <clears throat> because they're gonna make the Tatula Elite MQ LT. That'll, yeah, eventually, right. So that'll give them yet another Tatula. Yeah, dude, relax. Give them, give them a few months, they'll be in Okay, how about a new Tatula bait casting rail? <laughs> Did I lose you? Wait, I'm sorry. Did yeah, this I say is a, a Tatula 70. I thought we just had a Tatula 70. It's a new one. This is the Tatula Bait Finesse T Wing 70. Okay, so this one I'm actually looking forward to using. So I've had these for a couple of days. I'll give you my feedback uh, here shortly. So let's spec it out for you guys really quick. This is the brand new Bait Finesse Tatula. Uh, from Daiwa. They are available in one gear ratio, 8.1 to 1, and they are available in a righty and a lefty. I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see it, and we will do a side-by-side -side comparison of what I'm gonna talk about next. So, uh, bait finesse fishing obviously is absolutely booming uh, here in the U.S., and you know, one of the biggest challenges has been reels. In Japan, both Daiwa and Shimano uh, have a lot of bait finesse reels in their lineup, but it's been very difficult to get any reels in the US. And, you know, if you buy them out of Japan, there's no POC support, and a lot of times you're banging these around a creek, whatever, if something breaks, gear strip out, whatever. Uh, this way, now you have Daiwa USA to back it, so you have POC support, warranty support, so on and so forth. So, here's the brand new look at the bait finesse version of Tatool. Now, let me spec it out for you again. There's just the one gear ratio, the eight to one, which is the one that pretty much everybody uses anyways. Uh, it's 180 grams, so 6.3 ounces, so it's kind of on the heavier side. It's an aluminum frame, Zion plates, but it's a heavier reel. Uh, it's got 7.7 .7 pounds of drag, 30 inches of line per crank, five ball bearings, two of those are CRBBs, okay? So, it does have all the new hyperdrive casting system in it, so all of the new tech goes into this reel. Uh, it has the A7075 spool, which is just kind of a proven kind of air spool uh, for bait finesse fishing, okay? So there you go, and it's under 300 bucks. So now you have a true uh, Daiwa bait finesse reel under 300 bucks, which is nice. So it's another addition to that category that's affordable for a lot of guys, okay? So there you go, the brand new bait finesse Tatula. Okay, so it's Tula. BF T-Wing 70 uh, is available now. Okay, we're gonna keep Daiwa going just for a second, okay? Because there's also another bait finesse reel, okay? This is the official launch of the Daiwa PX bait finesse T-Wing 70, okay? PX standing for Pixie. So Pixie has been in the Daiwa lineup for years and years and years. They did not call it Pixie because there's some copyright and trademark things here in the US. So they rolled with PX. Now this is available in two righty gear ratios and one lefty gear ratio. So if you're a righty, you can choose between an 8.6 to one and a 7.1 to one. If you're a lefty, you must all just want the 8.6 to one, okay? So no choices for you, okay? I'm gonna open this out. Now, this is where this is going to get interesting now, again. I've had these reels for two days. Daiwa consulted us about this, didn't listen to a lot of things that I talked about, listened to some of them, uh, but they didn't send me any, so I don't have any long-term uh, feedback for you guys, but I have some short-term. Griff and I have been messing with these for the last couple days since we've had them, and I'll fill you in. So, let me give you a look first at the new Pixie Bait Finesse, that's what I'm gonna call it, but the PXBF T-Wing 70, okay? So, <clears throat> One of the, uh, well, let's check it out, and then we'll we'll get into the juice of it. So, 160 grams, so 5.6 ounces, 7.7 .7 pounds of drag uh, on the high speed. It's 29.7 inches of line pickup, six ball bearings, two of which are CRBB. Uh, by the way, that's plus one, so six ball bearings plus one roller bearing on there, so seven bearings total, two CRBB. Okay. I'm gonna put these right next to each other. They're very similar, okay? Now, this one is gonna have a slightly larger frame, but it's a full ounce lighter, 
Okay, so Jeff, hold these in that ounce. I know it only seems like an ounce, but it's very distinct. Okay, yeah, in a I reel this size, did, is it night and day difference in I, weight? I feel it. Okay, so here's basically what I can tell you guys from my use of them just for a couple of days, okay? Is it weird that Daiwa launched a product, a bait casting reel without hyperdrive at a higher price point? So this is 369. The Tatula is in the 200, I think it's 299 or 279, something like that, right? Uh, that has all new hyperdrive. Yeah, it was a little weird at first when I saw it. A lot of people are thinking that it looks too close to like the Alphys Air that was out for a long time. Here's what I can tell you. This reel sits much more comfortably to me on the rods that I use using like a Huntsman rod. That's what we were throwing it around on the last couple of days. Uh, it's, it's light but it has the right frame feel to it. It effortlessly effortlessly casts uh, like a four gram, super easy. Okay, so I was really impressed by the castability with this. It's got different adjusters on the side as well. So I would say day in and day out, if you are truly bait finesse fishing, you're just doing these little kind of, you know, wrist flick type cast, stream situations, the Pixie is gonna be the deal. Now the Tatula bait finesse actually threw really, really well. But it's got a different shape that doesn't quite sit as comfortably for this type of casting. I think it's going to be a better option in utilizing that hyperdrive for more like overhead casting. So if you guys are looking for like a bait finesse reel that you might take to the lake and throw more like finesse kind of stuff, this might be a really good option for you for that. But we're just going to have to play with them and see what happens. So for now, two options. Pretty cool that we have this ability. Uh, is this gonna replace any Shimano's in my lineup? Not necessarily. You know, Shimano came with the Aldebaran BFS, made in Japan, uh, unbelievable. They, of course, they have the Conquest BFS, made in Japan, unbelievable. Uh, these are just gonna be price point positions. So for the money, they're both pretty dope. And I'm excited to put them through the ringer and see what they're gonna do. So there you go. The new Pixie Bait Finesse, new Tatula Bait Finesse, both available now. Jeff, while we're on bait finesse topic, mm -hmm. I know this is your favorite topic. Absolutely. We might as well talk about the return of the great hunting huntsman rods from Megabass. So super stoked to get these. They only launched this one time mm -hmm. and it was about a year ago, right? So I know a lot of you guys have been dying to get your hands back on these. So if you are in that realm, this is the time to grab these. We should see not a flow, but a semi steady restocking of these coming through. I think the next supply will be in the summer and then I think there's another one in the winter. So we won't see a year's worth of time in between, uh, but when they're gone, there's still gonna be probably a full season of time in between. And one of the challenges is sourcing this wood has been an absolute nightmare for Megabass. So these are hand carved wood grips. <sighs> it's a $699 bait finesse rod but it is disgustingly fun to fish with. It just, it's so comfortable all day. Uh, there's three models. There's a 4.8, uh, the ultralight, that's amazing for just like all around use. There's a 5.3, again, kind of an amazing one for all around use. And there's a 5.11, that's gonna be a little bit more powerful for throwing just a little bit bigger stuff. But if you guys enjoy stream fishing and just being stylish uh, and looking great, it's an amazing one. I have all mine with Calcutta Conquest bait finesse on them. And I can tell you, it's it's disgusting. It's, it's an amazing combo, Jeff, That's you. Unbelievable. Yeah, so if I was gonna choose something, this would be it. But just to show you what the Pixie looks like, hold on. If you don't wanna spend 700 for a rod <laughs> and 700 for a reel, and maybe you just wanna, you know, throw a few hundred at a reel and 700 a rod or something like that. Or, you know, weight also comes into play. Right? So, you know, if you wanted something that has a much lighter weight, you could roll with the Pixie. And the Pixie actually sits on it great. It feels comfortable to fish all day, the way your hand sits. It sits great, it throws great, it's very comfortable on there. Uh, so that could be a really solid option. So uh, I expect these to fly out. By the way, they're gonna come in, you know, kind of a hard shell case that has a sling so you could throw it over your back. Also, the rod will be in a additional sleeve and then you put together all three piece rods, uh, but just absolutely beautiful, stunning rods. So there you go. If you've been waiting, Huntsman for Megabass, they are back. All right, let's stay on Megabass really quick. So 
Last year at the Bassmasters Classic, Mega Bass released some Bassmaster Classic only colors in the six inch mag draft. And it was a huge hit, sold out right away. How about a re-release of two of the three colors? This is in limited quantities, okay? So if these speak to you, you're gonna wanna snatch these up. But the top one is Keta Bass. The bottom one is Ablet. Okay, here, I'll just take them out so we can, we can see them just in case you guys don't remember. Uh, this is mag draft season I and mean, we've been throwing it for the last few weeks and there is just something magical about the damn mag draft. Uh, it's frustrating it's sometimes because you go out there and you want to catch them on other swim baits and you do and then you're like I wonder if they would eat the mag draft in your first cast you catch a six pounder it's like okay. Uh, why are we even fighting it? So uh, there you go. There's Ablet. So Ablet is on top. It's kind of a sparkly Jeff. This color should speak to you. It is. It's like an IU shad spawned together and yes. made a hybrid baby, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Keta Bass is just a really nice, natural kind of white base. Got a little bit of silver on the top, a little blue. It's it's a really nice color. So two limited colors. When they're gone, they're gone. This is it. It was just a fun little limited release that they did. So if those speak to you, you can scoop those up while supplies last from Mega Bass. And then also while we're on Mega Bass, uh, I know a lot of you have been waiting for Frozen Tequila, Matt Shad, Spawn Cherry to come back in the Deep Six, the Deep X 300. Uh, they are back, small quantities again. We should see a larger flow starting to come through, but if you have been dying to scoop up any of the new colors from Mega Bass and their hard baits, this would be a great week to uh, scope everything out. Huge restock across the board. Uh, so those are back as well from Mega Bass. All right, let's jump over to Lucky Craft. Okay. okay. Huge week from Lucky Craft. I mentioned this last week. So many comments, so many uh, well wishes for Lucky Craft and their factory and their families uh, back in Japan who are still dealing with, you know, the after effects of the earthquake, tsunami. Uh, so, guys, thank you very much for the support. Lucky Craft wants to pass on a thank you from them as well. They're finally getting back up and running, and now they're trying to make up for lost time, right? So a huge release this week from, it's pretty cool to see this. So let's start with a bait that's gonna be super relevant for a lot of you guys. How about a new size in the KJ Flat? The KJ Flat 1.0 is now available. So the KJ Flat is a flat sided crankbait designed to be like a balsa type bait. It's gonna be available in the key colors that Lucky Craft makes like Teal Craw and B.E. Gill and Pearl Threadfin Shab. This is designed to be a super tight, it has a circuit board lip, so it's gonna respond very quickly. Uh, it's flat side, so it's gonna be a very tight wobble. You know, flat sided crankbait's amazing this time of the year, anytime they start getting on bait. Just to spec it out for you guys, it's two and a quarter inches of so 57 millimeters, 7.2 grams, so it's quarter ounce. This could be more of a finesse square bill, uh, but when they get tough and you need to downsize, this might be a really fun one just to add to the KJ 1.5 that's already out. So uh, pretty cool that's available. There you go, the brand new 1.0 in the KJ. That is available. All right, LV500 has a huge week in colors, okay? And I know most of you are kind of right in the middle of LV500 season, so I'm not gonna bore you to death, but a lot of the key colors, like the new French Pearl OB that flew out of here when they did the release before, that is back finally. Colors we haven't seen in a long time are back, like Aurora Gold is back, uh, MS Ghost Minnow, Silver Cheek Ghost Minnow, a lot of the live colors, so like Live Pearl Shad is back, Live Stripe Shad is back, uh, a lot of the gill colors, you get, you're getting the gist, right? So all these great colors, you know, Magnum Heat Up Gill, colors that are super applicable for right now are back in the LA 500. So if this is your season, this is probably one of the best weeks I've seen for a number of colors uh, to be in stock. Those are available now. All right, Jeff, how about Slender Pointer 97, our custom color SL Wakasagi, back in stock. So Slender 97 is one of my favorite finesse shallow water jerk baits. Uh, SL Wakasagi is just a great all around use color for Clear water, anytime you're fishing around grass and you need a bait that has a natural presentation but not overly you know, loud or obnoxious, this is a great one. 
Okay, so it's got a semi-pearl belly that only goes about halfway up the bait. It's got a little bit of flash on the cheek and side to give it some body, and it's got that kind of illusion style type paint on the back. So the design of the color is so that it even breaks down the profile more. So when they get really picky, fishing over grass, over you know cover in shallow water, through wood, uh, this would be a great one. It'd be a great pond bait, great shore fishing bait because the Slender Pointer stays pretty high. If you get in cover, it's really easy to rip out. So it's a limited color that we do with Lucky Craft. So, uh, you know, it's available while there's supply. So if it speaks to you, there you go. Esawaka Sagi Slender 97, those are available this week. We also see a return in a bait that we haven't seen in a long time, okay? So Lucky Craft's been cranking out bevy shads but how about the return finally of the Bevy Shad 75 SP? This has been a bait that a lot of you guys have been asking for. We've had the 60s, right? And you've been asking for that larger Bevy Shad. Now it is finally available. So uh, let me just spec it out for you guys. It's 75 millimeters, 10 grams, okay? And it's available in some really nice colors and some new colors that you didn't have it before. What's nice about this is you get a true shad bait, but in a little bit larger, a little bit heavier package. A lot of times shad baits are really hard to throw. Uh, they're more of a finesse option. This is one that you can throw on your jerk bait gear. It comes with larger hooks. Uh, it's just got a bigger body presence to it. So if you guys, you know, shad baits are meant to kind of sweep. Uh, you can crank it, you can twitch it and have it walk side to side, but it has that nice shad profile to it. So I think you guys will catch a ton of fish on it if you haven't been using them. For those of you who are more old school in the Lucky Craft line, you're going to be excited to see those back. So there you go. The Bevy Shad 75 returns from Lucky Craft. All right, staying in jerk baits. Pointer 65 sinking is now available. So the sinking jerk bait has been gaining popularity for multiple reasons. Obviously scopers are using sinking jerk baits, but a lot of trout guys are using sinking jerk baits to get it down through the current. Uh, Pointer 65 sinking just makes a lot of sense because this is kind of the perfect, you know, trout fishing type size. Uh, so those are available. We're also seeing the humpback minnow 50 sink are also available and in some new colors as well as the Pointer 48 DD sinking. Okay, so a trend in smaller sinking jerk baits, but some new colors and all of that. So you've got fans of smaller jerk baits uh, and you want the bait just to get down a little bit quicker. This would be a great week to check them out. So those are all available from Lucky Craft. All right, Jeff, much like the Tatula confusion, Lucky Craft baits can start getting a little Absolutely. confusing as well. So are you ready for the confusing episode? Yeah, let's get it on. All right. Lucky Craft makes some amazing bait finesse to finesse, like smaller size options. I know we just talked about those sinking ones, but there's a lot of Japan only little finesse options that Lucky Craft makes that they haven't made in a while. They did a special run of. So if you guys are fans, this is going to be cool. Okay. The Lucky Craft Bevy Popper is available now. So some really dope colors inside of this. I'm just gonna spec it out for you guys so you know what you're looking at. 48 millimeter, 4.7 grams. So if you're looking for a nice kind of bait finesse popper option, something in here would be super dope. It's just gonna give you a traditional popping. You can walk it, of course. You got the feathered trailer, so it would be a really good option for you. Bevy poppers are available. If you prefer a walking bait, how about the Bevy pencil? Okay, so it's designed as like a little miniature pencil popper style bait. And again, lots of cool colors in here. Uh, there's a lot of them that are gonna play. So there's even some shinies that are a little chromier. Uh, so if you guys are wanting more body, uh, all the way to like some of the more clear, transparent colors. But again, to spec it out, 60 millimeters, 3.7 grams. So this is true bait finesse walking style bait, which a lot of you, you know, like the Karashi and that kind of stuff have really been popular over the last year. When they get picky, it's dope to have an option like that. So there you go. Lucky Craft Bevy Pencil, available now. And then Jeff, if you take the word Bevy out, right, maybe you just want a pencil. Okay. Okay. So we got you covered. The Lucky Craft Pencil Pencil is also back in stock in some special run colors. Now, we released this maybe, what, a year ago? And it was it's a ridiculous bait, but it's a fun bait. And there's some clears, there's some shinies, right? 
If you guys are wondering what the hell is this, if you didn't see the original release, this is literally a pencil popper shaped like a pencil. Okay, so it's literally a pencil. It's it's fun. Okay, it's a fish on the front of it. All right, it's got Lucky Craft pencil on the side of it. Okay, since 1994 for general fishing. Okay, so if you're a fan of general fishing, it's literally right there on the side. Okay, so the Lucky Craft pencil pencil is back now. This has a really subtle. Can you hear it? Really subtle little knock in it. Uh, it walks great. It's a cool little bait. So if you like having fun, uh, there you go. There's five new colors in that uh, available now from Lucky Craft. All right, Jeff, just in case you need more small top water options, okay? I want to make sure I've got you covered. Sammy 55s and Sammy 65s are back and there's some new colors. So if you're fans of the smaller Sammy, those are also back, but wait. We also brought over the Japan only NW series, okay? So there's a couple different sizes. There's an NW09 and there's an NW99. Here, I'll show you side by side so you can see the difference, okay? So you've got yet another option, okay? Just, just gonna give you a different movement. So the NW09 is a 65 millimeter, seven gram. The 99 is a 52 millimeter, 3.8 gram, okay? Just to take it out here, I'll take it out of the box so you can see it. This is going to give you a little bit wider, more rolling style action than say like the bevy pencil. Okay, so just a cool little finessey, uh, finessey kind of you know pencil style walking bait, just to give you a different look. Okay, so I mean, we're really micro analyzing uh, this category, but there you go. Those are available from Lucky Craft. All right, and then only one color to talk about, but let's go the opposite way. How about a G-Splash 120? Uh, they made this in chrome specifically for the herring guys. So uh, a lot of you herring guys have been asking for more larger baits that can be worked very fast in chrome. Uh, Lucky Craft put the G-Splash 120, which is their largest G-Splash that can be worked very, very fast on the surface. In chrome, it might speak to you to spec it out. It's 120 millimeters, 24 grams. So you're at five eighths of an ounce, almost three quarters of an ounce. Uh, there, so it should be an easy casting one. Might be perfect for you guys. Those are available. All right, and then one more thing, Jeff. So, Lucky Craft makes a bait called the Wander. Do you remember talking about this? So the Wander is a bait that was designed to basically be like a stick type bait that sinks and falls a lot like a Senko, okay? They have been listening. A lot of LiveScope guys have been absolutely crushing them on the Wander, so they are gonna start reinventing that bait and bring it back. So three different Wander drops uh, are happening today. So this is the Wander 85, just spec it out to 85 millimeters, 16 grams. This is a sinking bait. So as it sinks, it is going to sink a lot like how a Senko would sink. It's gonna have this side to side roll. You can twitch it, you can pop it. It's gonna basically just kind of dart up and down as you move it. And then when you pause it again, it's gonna sink back to depth. So, you know, we took these out. All the brands are gonna be coming out with these style baits, right? So, you know, Duo has a bait like this. Lucky Craft has a bait like this. I've seen some mega bass development baits like this. So this is going to start becoming a more popular trend uh, for scoping. So if this is something that speaks to you, if you guys are using live scope and you want the bait to get down, you can. Uh, now these are all saltwater safe as well. So a lot of you guys might just want to be fishing in the surf, throw it in the surf, let it kind of sink down. You could also do that as well. So this is the 85 size. There's also a 95 size. Okay. So you want something just slightly bigger than 95 size is 95 millimeters, obviously 21 grams. So you're at three quarters of an ounce, just slightly larger in size. There's colors anywhere from, you know, ghost minnow uh, to, you know, these magic scale patterns, pearl white. So they're all in good bait fish patterns uh, and those are all available now. And then finally, there is also the Slim 110. Okay, so Slim 110 is 110 millimeters, 20 grams. So you're also at three quarters of an ounce. I'll take this out just so you can see the difference. This is just going to be a longer three hook profile in a more slender minnow shaped body. Okay, so here's the 85. You can see it's slightly rounder. 
more rounder and stubby. And then this is the slim version, just a little bit more slender and longer. So three different versions, depending on what you feel you need to do, but it'd be fun to play with these. So I hope those add to your enjoyment out there while you guys are scoping. Those are available now from Lucky Craft. All right, Jeff, a question that we've been getting asked a ton uh, recently is to please bring in a new scent. Uh, since we were just talking about live scope, this is a new scent that is designed to give you more of an impact on your live scope screen as well. And this is a scent called Bait Pop. Now, this is a uh, new kind of technology that comes in, is kind of like a paste type form. And not only does it give scent, but it also gives, it sticks to the baits really good. We were actually fishing with this uh, a few days ago, uh, you, me, and Ethan, and it stays on surprisingly well, like for a long time. And it also gives just a little bit more body, supposedly, to your live scope. Right, so your bait shows up well. So if you guys are fishing smaller baits, it's hard to see in a live scope. You add this, it's got different flakes, different material, it just gives it a little bit more body so that it's more visible on your screen. It's available in nine different colors and shapes. So some of them are just kind of like adding sparkles and flake. Some of them are adding color tone. So there's like a pink, there's a chartreuse. And when you apply it, it's a kind of a pasty type color. There's a gold, there's a blue, there's a crawfish, there's a black, right? So you can alter, you could add a little bit of color pop, but it might be a fun thing to play with. They're pretty cheap, so it might be worth uh, playing with. Griff, have you been happy with the bait pop since we've had it? Yeah, it's pretty dope. Cool. So uh, it might be fun. So give it a shot. Bait pop available now. All right, quick restock to let you guys know about with depths. I know all of you are dying to get Sakamata Shads back in. That's really the only bait that anybody cares about right now. Uh, those should be coming mid-March. So don't kill the messenger. We should have had thousands of them by now, but mid-March is kind of the ETA. But for now, if you guys are still doing like normal bass fishing and you're not live scoping, uh, maybe you're throwing a free rig or a Texas rig or just having some fun. Bull flats are back in all sizes and in a lot of the key colors. So like bluegills, green pumpkins, those types of things. Bull flats return. Also, do you remember this bait, Jeff? No. It used to be popular. I don't know what that yeah, is. but. This is called the cover scat. Oh, right, right. Okay. Yep. Those also return in pretty much all the key colors. A lot of colors that haven't been around for a long time. All your green pumpkin type shades, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then the little rabbit is also back. Now, little rabbit's kind of a sneaky one, right? Soft plastic. It's got a big bulge on the tail. Uh, looks a lot kind of, it's kind of like the bait that Issei kind of was inspired by on their new bait. Uh, but it's a really good one on a wobble head. You can do a lot of things with it. You can just swim it around, shake it. Uh, and then also the clap craw is also back. It's just a great kind of punch in, flip in style bait. So good restock from depths in soft plastics, even though there's no sock on. So stay tuned, it'll, it'll come. All right, Jeff, you and I were having some fun in the truck the other day, driving back from the lake, and we were talking about frogs. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about what is the, what was the best selling frog of 2023, Yeah. right? And I think we were both surprised when we pulled up the stats. Mm -hmm. Now, you may not consider this a frog, but it does have it in the it's name. a frog. The bottom up scooper frog. Yeah. Crazy, but it was our most, it was our best selling frog of last year. And I think a lot of it is just something different. And there's a lot of versatility to this. So this week we get a restock in all colors plus new colors across the board. I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time. So. There's three different sizes. This is the Scooper Frog Magnum. Okay, now these are elastomer style baits that are designed to float, obviously, uh, and mimic a frog. But they're incredibly durable, right? So they last a really long time. But how a lot of anglers are using these is of course you can fish it on top. When you fish it on top, the legs you know, pull back. It swims just like a frog. But a lot of guys are using these on like a wobble head as a jig trailer. You can free rig it, you can jig a rig, fish with them. And it's giving the fish a different look, either like a tadpole that's kind of swimming down or a frog that's swimming down, or something that's just kind of interesting that they put in their mouth because they don't really know what it is. For whatever reason, they catch a ton of fish. Uh, so, you know, here you go. So two new colors in the Magnum this week, both in kind of natural colors. The Scooper Frog Daddy gets some really exciting additions this week. So this is the next size down. Uh, so this is probably, your, I would say, your most 
usable size for most people. Uh, but the Scooper Frog Daddy now gets two-tone, right? So you see this really cool kind of like green and gold. You see magma come in, which is that green pumpkin with like that kind of light red. You get a two-tone shad. Uh, so some really cool colors this week in the Daddy. And then of course, the original just Scooper Frog uh, is also back and we see some new color additions in that. So if you're looking for some fun baits to play with, this would be a good one, super popular. Uh, there you go, the Scooper Frog back and new colors from bottom up. All right, while we're talking about bottom up, three new colors in the bottom up Beeble. So the Beeble is, uh, was recently voted, so last year for 2022, the Beeble was voted by the industry as the best spinnerbait on the market. 2023, they opened that voting up to anglers and it was voted as everybody's favorite spinnerbait. So uh, a very popular one in Japan, starting to get some traction here in the US, but we have three new colors. We have a new pro blue color, uh, we have a new wild gill color, and we have a new champagne type color, okay? So the Beeble, uh, if you're not, I think by now everybody's kind of familiar with the Beeble, but the Beeble has that very interesting profile and that kind of unique blade on the bait itself. Okay, so there you go. It's just a really nice looking spinner bait. Uh, lots of quality, you know, hand tied, hand trimmed skirt, uh, hand painted head. The blades are unique, kind of half fish scale hammered, half non. Uh, and then they have this very unique blade on the front. That cupped blade allows it to vibrate just a little bit differently than other spinnerbaits coming through the water. Catch a ton of fish, so uh, I'm happy with the new colors. I think they look pretty sick. So there you go, if you're Beeble fans. Those are available, by the way, in a tandem willow, which is I'm showing now. Uh, I'm sorry, a double willow, as I'm showing now, and a tandem willow. Tandem willow puts an Indiana blade on the front as well, so you have two different blade combinations. Uh, those are available now. Okay, while we're on bottom up, we also see a huge restock and some new colors come in the bottom up gimme. Now the gimme has been one of our hottest soft plastic baits uh, of recent time. I'd say over the last six months since it's been out. Uh, the gimme is just a very nice ribbed kind of bluegill profile bait. Uh, that's amazing on a free rig. It's amazing as a jig trailer. You can fish it on its own, uh, but it's going to give you that kind of horizontal bluegill fall. That tail is segmented at the end, which you would think would create like a super hard thump, but it's super subtle. It just allows just enough lifelike movement to where the fish eat it. Uh, a lot of you guys have been catching a ton of fish on it, so if you've been waiting on some really good new like green pumpkin and bluegill -y type colors, this would be the week to check those out. So the gimme is back in stock and new colors from bottom up. All right, and finally uh, from bottom up, we see some new colors come in the Volop Swimmer as well, as well as a full restock of all the colors that they had available. So a lot of you guys, huge fans of the Volop Swimmer. They're available in three si or two sizes right now. There will be a third coming uh, shortly. So a 3.3 inch and a 4.2 inch, just give you a look of some of these new colors. So there's anywhere from pink to like a green pumpkin watermelon to a nice kind of like cinnamon shad type base. So uh, some good colors that are worth adding. The Volop Swimmer is more of a triangular shaped soft plastic bait. So it has a tremendous body roll and a really good shimmy on the fall. It's a really good one to implement in your arsenal if you guys throw a lot of paddle tails. So uh, there you go, new colors in volops from bottom up. All right, Jeff, let's jump over to OSP really quick. A few new items uh, and a huge restock this week in the Blitz line. I know this has been a line that's been desperately needed to have colors return. This is the week. So if you guys are fans of the OSP Blitz, uh, there's a bunch of different baits within this line. So the Blitz is kind of the, their standard square bill crankbait. Uh, absolutely smokes them. All the blitzes uh, return in all the sizes in the majority of colors, I would say, this week. So this is the week you guys want to scoop up. So uh, regular blitz are back. Rattling blitz are back. Blitz Max in a lot of the key colors are back. Rattling Blitz Max are back, if you're wondering the difference. I throw the Blitz Max a lot. This is probably my favorite uh, square bill in the line. Even though it says Max, it's only 62 millimeters and 12.5 grams. So it's not even really a half ounce square bill. 
Uh, so this would be what I would consider to be normal. The regular Blitz is kind of a finessey one. It's 53 millimeters, nine grams. So you're kind of like almost three eighths of an ounce, kind of five sixteenths of an ounce, I guess. And then there's also a tiny Blitz, right? So if you're more of a finesse guy, uh, you're at 45 millimeters, 6.5 grams, or just under a quarter ounce, okay? So uh, multiple Blitz sizes. There's also a Blitz DR that returns in a bunch of key colors. The Blitz SSR, so that's the super shallow runner in all the key colors. So huge, huge restock on Blitz across the board this week from OSP. <clears throat> okay, also a restock this week from OSP in the brand new Ashura EXDR. So this was uh, this is the newest hard bait launch from OSP. Uh, they absolutely evaporated out of here. There's been a lot of guys that have been getting the Ashura EXDR down into 15 to 20 foot of water. This is a bait that is designed to be, you know, half jerk bait, half crank bait. There's all kinds of things you can do with this. So you can swim it down to depth. It should get down to like 14, 15 feet. And then you can pull it with sweeps. You can twitch it. It walks really easy. Uh, it's been catching a ton of fish. It's just a great bait. They knocked it out of the park with this one. I'm gonna spec it out for you guys. Uh, in case you didn't pick any up on the initial launch, this would be the time to grab these. It's 89 millimeters, 11.8 grams. Uh, so easy to throw. There's a dual tungsten weight transfer system in there. So it casts easy. It's balanced really well. It's a really good bait. So if you guys are catching them in those zones, this would be going to add. So all the colors return in the Ashura EXDR from OSP. All right, huge restock in the Durga across the board, plus a new color. Yamame. So now I think they just listened to us talking about how much I love the Durga and how trout smoke it. That, well, let's put some trout colors in it. So uh, there you go. The Durga is a super sick downsizing jerk bait, 73 millimeters, 4.7 grams, but it casts great because it does have a dual tungsten weight transfer system in it. So even a small bait has that weight transfer. So it throws really well, it acts really well, it catches fish. Uh, so if that color speaks to you or any of the other colors, this would be a good week to scoop up the Durga. And then finally from OSP this week, uh, a new color in the OSP rod cover. Now this is actually one of those like gimmicky products that I use. A lot of the gimmicky stuff, you know, kind of cool, but I don't really mess with it. But the rod cover is a great one if you are a non-boater, if you're a co-angler, if you fish from shore, if at any point in time you need to lug multiple rods around at one time, the rod cover is designed to go over all of your rods and hold them together. So you can put, you know, four, five, six rods at a time, and then this just wraps over them all, and then you can lug it around. It comes with extra bands. This is their Dolive Mania kind of paisley print, which is super sick. So within the print, there's spinner baits, there's some Dolive Life plastics, there's bass, there's Paisley, there's the OSP logo. It's just a really cool, I don't know, I really dig it. So if that speaks to you, you need to wrap up rods uh, and carry them around. It's just a great way to keep them protected and keep them all together so they're not just being a pain in the ass, right? So there you go, new color, available now. All right, Jeff, let's wrap it with a super dope reel and some new rods. How about that? Are you even still with me today? You're very quiet. Mm. Did I lose you at the tool? Yeah. Just like that? Yeah, I told you. I feel like I'm almost sad for you, so I haven't even messed with you this week. Mm. Or maybe I like you more. Oh. No. Nah. Oh. Not it. Yeah, I think it's sad for you. I'm sorry. I should have ended with the tool, huh? I should have started with the bevy pencil. Yeah. Then you would have been high. I'm sorry there's no swim baits for you this week, Jeff. It can't always be about you. But you know what it can be? It can be an exciting week for people that love Metanium DCs, like myself, mm. okay? So look, I am very critical of both brands, but I feel like I'm probably harder on Shimano than I am on Daiwa most of the time. And it's only because I love Shimano, I was born with Shimano, and I expect great things from Shimano. This is one that I was super stoked they were launching. Uh, and one that I'm really excited to utilize. So this is the brand new 2024 Metanium DC. Wasn't supposed to be here until June. June was the slated time. Uh, they just randomly showed up. So, by the way, if you're a lefty, pay no attention. Huh. Okay, I got I got nothing for you. There's some dialists that you might like. Okay, there's some new Steez and stuff. But if you're a righty, 
okay? I have just the one gear ratio right now, which is the HG, okay? So at least they sent me the best one, which is the seven to one. There's also gonna be an eight to one gear ratio in this. Here's what's exciting about this. I've always loved Metanium DC. A lot of people don't like that sound of the, you know, DC humming like Griff. He absolutely hates it. I don't know, I guess I've just gone to enough concerts to where my hearing sucks. Mm. So I don't even notice that it's happening. What's dope about this is A, it's sexy. It's a sleek black looking reel, which I think is super cool. Uh, made in Japan, which usually means you're going to have a consistent long-term quality, which is great but it's in a 70 size, which has been super needed because the old Metam DC is kind of bulky. So you want to take advantage of that DC tech by throwing a lighter bait, but it's just in such a big reel they kind of needed to go on a bigger rod. Now you've got a true 70 size footprint. It's kind of been a 70 day, huh? Even the two dials are 70, I didn't even realize that. But now you can put this on like your jerk bait rod and it's small and it fits. You could throw this on a 110 stick or 110 special. You could put it on the new Poison Ultima. It looks disgusting on the Ultima, the black on black. Uh, and you have a small footprint reel with the DC Tech that you can throw those lighter baits. Smart. I don't know why it took so long to get it, but I'm super stoked about it. Uh, I think you guys are gonna love this reel. I'm excited about it. So there you go. The brand new Metanium DC 70 HG. Uh, the new and improved from Shimano. Those are available now for you righties. And finally, the official launch of the brand new Daiwa Zillion rods happened earlier this week. Now, just like the Tatula and the Pixie, the Zillion rod line wasn't supposed to drop until the classic. These were all classic releases, uh, but randomly we got word from Daiwa like, hey, we shipped you everything. We're just gonna launch it this week. Okay, well, here you go. So we get them early. Now, I've actually been pretty excited about the Zillion Rods. Uh, I've known about this project for a little over a year, maybe a year and a half, uh, and felt the all the original ones. We gave feedback on what we thought, uh, and a lot of our ideas were implemented, and I love it. Uh, some of them weren't, but you know we can talk about that at a later time. I think you guys are gonna dig this line. So this is positioned as a kind of mid price point rod. They're gonna be in that kind of 329, 349 price range uh, that's gonna position you in between like a Tatula Elite Series rod and a Ste. So if you don't wanna jump all the way to Ste's, this would be a good alternative uh, that's going to give you a lot of benefits. Now, there are they have the X45 construction, so you're gonna get that cross uh, that cross weave construction. It has a new monocoque grip. So, you know, semi borrowed design, I would say from like a uh, X Pride, you know, but it's going with that carbon monocoque grip. So it's lighter, it's gonna give you more sensitivity. It's got a really clean kind of beautiful reel seat on it. Uh, almost looks, it's got like it's been airbrushed or like a truck paint. Uh, it's, it's a clean looking rod. The most exciting thing for me about these rods is that they've brought back that flex light tech. So if you guys are old school and you remember Steez, Steez used to make a Steez flex light, which was kind of a glass carbon composite that gave you that lightweight rod that's still bent for throwing a crankbait, chatterbait, that kind of stuff, and that went away. They've brought it back now with the Zillion and with the new tech, it's, it's lighter, it's crisper, uh, lots of dope things. So I grabbed a handful of rods that I thought were worth uh, talking about, there's like 20 rods, I think, total in the lineup. This is the 7.9 swim bait rod. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. This is not in the flex light, but this is a pretty fast rod, okay? So this is gonna be like a soft swim bait rod. So maybe something like a Citizen or a Magdraft Freestyle, something like that. That could be a, you know, a rod that might have game for you. Uh, obviously, these were all designed to have zillions on them, but put whatever you want on them. They feel, they feel good. Uh, seven two heavy pitching rod feels great. You could throw a frog on this. You could pitch it around. It's kind of like a perfect pitch of that seven two heavy steez. Uh, I really like that rod. It's really light, very powerful. That's going to be a popular one. But here is where the stars of the show are going to be. Now, if you see out of stock on these, we might have sold out of some models, but there are also some models that haven't come yet. So some of the more finessier rods should still be trickling in over the next couple weeks. But the flex light, there's a 7.3 heavy flex light and a 6.10 medium heavy. The 6.10 medium heavy designed for chatterbaits. 7.3 heavy is going to throw a chatterbait 
just as well. Uh, but you could throw like mid-sized cranks, uh, bigger square bills. It's basically giving you that glass carbon blend where you're gonna get that true glass bendiness, uh, but in a rod that weighs nothing. So I think you guys are really going to dig those. Did you see the chatterbait one yet? Here, check that. Jeff, here's a full glass one. Uh, that 7.2 heavy? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so their non-flex light are really, really lightweight. I think you guys are gonna dig them, especially in that 329 price point. Um, not sure why we needed zillion spinning rods. Doesn't really make any sense to me unless there's a zillion spinning coming, which could be foreshadowing, I don't know. But there is also a line of spinning rods. There are two flex light spins, which is kind of cool. And then there's like your traditional spin. So like here's a 610 medium light extra fast. There's a hair jig rod uh, and they feel good. Like they feel nice and solid, but you know, without a zillion spinning reel, I don't know why I need a zillion rod. It's okay, Dial. You don't have to put everything into a line, but uh, they feel nice. They have the monocot grip. Uh, they have the good structured uh, taper. I don't love the hook keep replacement on the spinning because uh, I hold my spinning farther up the rod. So that gets a little annoying for me, but it probably won't bother most of you if you hold it back down a little bit deeper. Uh, but a sick lineup of rods. It's gonna be a fun line to explore, uh, but really the anchors of this line is the fact that they're able to include more of that glass carbon, that flex light tech, which is what we all really want in a lineup. We don't want them to all be fast graphite. So it's cool that there's a blend of the two. So uh, check them out. I, don't, I didn't want to end this holding spinning rods after I was just talking shit about spinning rods in the zillion. So let's do like that. There you go. Oh, and they're styled nice. They're black, they're silver, they're cork, they're carbon. Everything you need in a bass rod. There you go. Those are available now from Daiwa. Just so I can listen to all the hate, Jeff. Let's put a Shimano Metanium DC on a Daiwa Zillion rod. Blasphemy. That looks pretty good. So, feels good too. So, that would be a good combo if you didn't want a Zillion Zillion. I think you'd want a Zillion Zillion, but you don't have to. Okay, there you go. Send me the hate. All right, guys, that is a wrap for this week. I know that was a lot of stuff. Uh, but if you have questions on anything we dropped, shoot us a comment down below and I will do my best to get answers. Uh, Jeff and I are actually hopping a plane, uh, going back to Japan for some really cool things that we will be dropping over the next couple weeks. So stay tuned uh, for that so I don't get an answer right back to you right away. Uh, be patient. Of course, you can always just reach out to Griff. He has nothing better to do on a Sunday. So uh, Jeff will put links to the products. Guys, on behalf of myself and Jeff and Griff and everybody here at the Hookup Tackle, cheers. I hope you're having an amazing weekend. Thank you guys for giving us time on your Sundays. Thank you for your support. Go hug your family, catch a giant fish, drink Orion. Jeff, last chance. Road soda? No. All right, peace out my friends. See you soon, later.